we doing? Tonight, we've got a big thing going on around here because President Trump is going to be on a town hall on NBC tonight. And Trump is on, I don't know, one of, or Biden is on one of them other channels. Who in the hell knows which one? But tonight, we're going to fix pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Very large pizza. All right, what we've got going on is I got some mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers. Uh, Josh brought down some salami. He also brought down a little bit of pepperoni. In fact, we're going to try one of these salamis. I haven't ate today. We got some Parmesan. We got mozzarella, of course. Sausage crumbles. And just some good old hamburger. We had a couple of patties that we had laid out for something else. And decided we're going to go ahead and use them. This. Our pizza sauce. We got there. When you fix pizzas, your meat, you need to go ahead and pretty much cook them because they will not be in the oven long enough. And also, the oils. You don't want that. And we got some little hamburger crumbles. We'll let them get a little darker. We got our sausage crumbles. They're almost just pretty much almost done. But what I'm going to do is I want the grease off of this. So we're going to pour this back in there and all of our oils. And we're just going to brown all this up and. Hopefully we'll have some oil left over. If not, I got a whole ton of bacon grease that we're going to kind of do our onions and uh, bell peppers just a little bit and our mushrooms. We're going to mix everything and have them ready. That way when we do cook the pizza, because this crust that I've got, of course, is store-bought and only cooks for like I think it's like six minutes. So it won't be long enough to cook this stuff. It'll be long enough to melt the cheese. that will be about it. I think we're pretty good here. Or pretty near. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour all this back in here. But I'm going to try to leave the oils behind. I'm not, I'm not going to go out of my way. But if I can, that's great. The season to have a little warmth to life out here. And though the past year has been an unexpected one, all 38,000 of us are ready to help you make the most of this fall. Yeah, we got a little oil there. Not a whole lot. So you can take care of the most. Yeah, we ain't gonna sweat it. Prepare for them shorter days and cooler nights. And sit back and warm up to more family time. It's not what I need. So what we're gonna do. Get start again because that thing shuts off on me. A little bit of bacon grease. I'll set that over there. Onions and bell peppers. And put this over here. garlic. I'm going to need that. Yeah. We'll 
lay our pizza dough out. Here's what we bought. Just old Kroger pizza dough, regular pizza dough. We're going to lay them out there for a minute. I'm going to put me a little bit of Italian seasoning in here. A little salt. I'm going to put me some parsley, but I'm going to put that on the crust, not in here. All right, we got them at the bottom. We're going to put some mushrooms in here. They won't take a second to wilt, so we're just going to open it up here, and we're going to put them on top so these uh, peppers get, or so these peppers get ready. And of course, they won't take long either. They, you're just going to sweat them down. You you don't have to caramelize them or. You know all that stuff you're just they're gonna cook a little more in the oven they're not gonna cook a whole lot though is the thing this may take us a little bit being that this could be such a large pizza i've never cooked one this large before so it kind of looks like the. i'm gonna pull that one it looks more like the rind than the onion i might have missed it Big piece of bell pepper that we're gonna cut down. There we go. See, they're already soft enough. Can't take nothing to cut that. We're getting pretty close already. So it don't take but a minute. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take him. I think I'm just gonna keep these separate for right now. That's going to be good on them. I'm going to pull these over here. Again, we'll leave the, try to leave the oil behind as best as possible. Good thing about this plastic bowl, this is not hot. All right, start. So we can put these over here out of our way. I'm going to put me some, a little bit of garlic in there, a little bit of regular oil. That's a uh, canola oil. I think we're going to use about half of these. I'll put these up for another recipe. Now, on these, I like me some black pepper. Done with that. I do like to crack black pepper with my mushrooms. Oh, we lost one. Boy, you can smell that garlic. We want to get this so we can smell that uh, pepper too. But yeah, you can smell that garlic. All right, we got to start an oven. We'll put it on bake. 
I think we're going to go 400. Start. A little more oil because I don't want that garlic burning. It will if you don't watch what you're doing. It's trying to stick there. It's the reason I wanted to get a little more oil in it. Plus these mushrooms soak it up so quick. According to this thing, I believe, I've never used these. I got three of them just in case. It says, heat oven to 400 degrees, any size cooking nonstick pan. All right, we're going to take and get us some. Get this. Spray it down. That our that our be good. Let's open one of these things up here and see what we come up with. It says cook uh, dough for eight minutes and then six to ten minutes after you dress it up. So let's see how kind of dough we got going on here. It's like a pretty good sized thing of dough, to be honest with you. So I have never used these. Actually, two of them's gonna probably do it. We're gonna go a little bit up and around because we're gonna tell you what we're gonna do. I have heard that these things do not do well. If they want to pop back on you. I'll see if we can Let's see if we can get it up there and it'll stay. We're definitely going to need two of them. Well, where's the opening thing here? There it is. Oh, goodness. Go back here and turn our mushrooms off. They'll still cook a little bit. Just like I said, I'm not going to take them out of the pan. Let's we'll see what we come up with here. We are taking. Stretch this a little bit. Chance to watch both candidates tonight. Ultimately, bragging rights may go to the candidate who gets the best ratings this evening, correct? All right, John, thank you. I'll be watching both. I'll be on Shannon's show later tonight. We'll wrap up. We're going to stretch that out a little bit like that. These ends are pretty thick, so. Then what we'll do is we'll throw that down there like that. We're going to overlap them just a little. We don't want to tear it. Joe Biden wore two masks at once on his flight to Florida, and it turns out there was an administrative official from the charter company sitting in the last row infected with COVID-19 on that flight and one to Ohio Monday. But Biden is not changing his schedule since the sick person never got within 50 feet and all parties wore masks. Part of the safety plan carefully crafted when he started flying regularly. We worked out a protocol where how I get in the plane, what kind of plane I get on, how I sanitize, where, how I engage people. His running mate, Kamala Harris, was confident in those protocols last night. Do you feel safe campaigning during COVID? Well, we've been very safe, and, um, you know, again, the president um, has been each one of us, <laughs> but we wear masks. But today, canceled events on Sunday because two people right. were being cleaned up. I 
don't know how well this is going to work out. Like I said, I have never used this before. I really don't want it that Try to keep the poker too many holes in it. All right. See what? We're actually gonna tear that little corner off right there. It... There we go. We should stay up there a little better because. We're going to have a lot of toppings in this thing. Plug that little hole right there. There we go. All right. Now we're supposed to put this thing in the oven for a few minutes. Six minutes, I believe it said. Let's see what it says here. Eight minutes. Pre bake it for eight minutes. Senior political correspondent Mike Emanuel has an update tonight. This is election interference of the Senate Judiciary Committee wants to know what the hell is going on. Outrage on Capitol Hill after learning that All right. we're gonna clean up the mess and we'll be back. Okay, now I see why they want you to do it this way. That's what it does, it cooks the inside of it. It cooked this really quick. That is a waste. We'll take that out of there. All right, let's put us some pizza sauce. And I like, or we like, extra pizza sauce. So we're going to spread this out here and see what we look like. Just that. You don't want to go crazy. Plus, I'm going to add some more inside after we add some stuff to it. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. Now, this is the way I do it. Usually, at this point, you can dress your pizza at any way that your little heart desires. But I'm going to put me... All right, we put our hamburger sausage on there. The committee heard some witnesses today, including the American Bar Association's standing committee, an independent body within the broader ABA, which has often faced the accusation that it doesn't treat conservative nominees fairly. Judge Barrett has earned and enjoys an excellent reputation for integrity and absolute. And we'll save me a few of these, and you'll see why here in a minute. Let's get us some mushrooms. In part because of her unwavering support, I am the first blind woman to serve as a law clerk on the Supreme Court of the United States. Judge Barrett's views are far outside the mainstream, and for evidence of this, one need look no further than her own words before this committee this week. GOP leaders repeat that they have ambitious schedules for getting Barrett confirmed before election day. She said to be willing to We're going to spread these out a little bit. Put a few over there. Get a sun out here toward the edge. Because we've got a nice deep pizza that we can make here. So, all right. I'm going to take put in a little more cheese. And this is a strange one because normally I wouldn't make a pizza that was this expensive. But somebody else helped with the bill on this. You know, supplying all the products. So we're going to put us a 
Up next, we talked to two senators, one Republican, one Democrat, yeah. about the Barrett hearings, the election, other big breaking news. Keep it here. This is Salami. Bill Smith gave me an opportunity at 17 years. I've seen you here in the provide the original Mike Stuff shop, now called Jersey Mike Stuffs. What does it take to get involved? It takes commitment, energy, and sharing your life with your team and your customers. One more piece. Right there. We're going to do some pepper, pepperoni. In between each one of those, I'm going to do out there to the edge. That's an awful big spot there, so we'll put two. Yeah, we can ignore the crap going on over on the TV. It's just the news. And I know you all didn't come here to hear that, so I should have turned it off. And didn't think to do it. We're going to dress this puppy up. So we got quite a few people coming over tonight. And it's hard to feed them all, that's for sure. We're going to add a few more in here. Right there. And we're going to save some of them. We'll do me some parmesan. Now, what I do, and like I said, you can, once you get it to this point, you can do whatever your little heart desires. But I'm going to put me some more sauce on here. I'm not going to spread it out, though. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created Just gonna kinda... Giza Dreams bed sheets. I started by using the world's best cotton called Giza. It's only grown in a region between the Sahara Desert, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Nile River. It's I'm going to go ahead and use it all here. But extremely durable. My Giza sheets also include full 21 inch wide pillowcases that will fit over any pillow and deep pocket sheets. Because that will spread out on its own. All right. Now, we got that done. We're going to take us another round. Put that on there. This thing says that it cooks six to ten minutes. I got a feeling this thing gonna cook a lot longer than six to ten minutes, but hey, I believe anything wants. Alright. We're done with the cheese. We're gonna finish up with a few of these peppers just kinda scattered out here. I don't want that water. Alrighty. Get everything else in there, right? Alright. Big corolla announcing a charge doesn't make sense for the American public and politics are getting in the way. But the president and I are determined to keep working on a larger comprehensive deal. By the way, uh, you know, if they would approve standalone checks, which is mostly direct deposits, would we get that money out quickly as well? So uh, the president and I and others are not giving up. Come up there. Saying it is time for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to fish or cut bait on coronavirus. Fish or cut bait, huh? Boy, them politicians know what just exactly what they don't they? This will really date this video because they're still doing the Barrett confirmations. So. That gives you any kind of a hint of what's going on there. That is still ongoing. Uh, it was stopped for some time, and still the discussions are going. Why can't All right. Congress get something across the finish line? I think we're in good shape here. Well, that's a good question uh, because we've been trying for a very long time now. Uh, the House of Representatives 
passed the Cures Act uh, more than five months ago. At uh, that time, uh, Leader McConnell, the Republican leader, uh, didn't want to do anything. One last one for me. Mommy, we put that over there. That all goes in the refrigerator. All right. I just pulled her out. Tell me I don't look good. What do you think? I'll get you in there. I put me some uh, parsley and uh, some more Italian seasoning over the top to kind of give it a little green color in there. So, got to sit for about. 10 minutes or so, let it cool down because of it being so thick, it will literally run off the plates. Plus, you got your oils, let them seep back in. All right, when I go to cut it, we'll give you a holler. All right, let's cut this bad boy. Let's see if we can do this with a spatula. Maybe you can explain I think we're going to pass on that. Get this thing here. We use that for the edges. And I'll take this to the edge here. Good and crispy. That's the way I like it. Let's see if we can. Right. See what we do here. Oh yeah. There we go. So, go ahead and cut a couple more here. All right. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pick this up. So here's what we're gonna do. Slide this down here. Let's see. Oh, wow. There you go. Put the tips up some pizza. And them seasonings are great. I love them. I'm going to get some of this Plenty of cheese. And, canceled. and the moderator for that canceled debate, Steve Scully from C SPAN, engaged mm. in a controversy and now indefinitely suspended from C SPAN. Here's how he writes it up. Uh, C SPAN suspended Scully after he admits to a lie about the facts. Ooh, it looks like underneath. So his tweet and created a controversy. I falsely claimed that my Twitter account had been hacked. He had been uh. frustrated by President Trump's comments and several weeks of criticism on social media. I don't worry about asking me. I'm going to eat this. So, there's a big ass pan pizza for you. So, till next time, folks. See ya.